The RHI is all part of DEC's mission to try and reduce carbon emissions as part of the, particularly in the short term, part of the 2020 goals that we have to get our uh, percentage of renewable energy up to 15%. So the fact that the scheme has been delayed so many times has jaded many of the solar installers in particular. Uh, who have gone out and sold on the back of the forthcoming RHI and then had to explain to customers uh, that the, um, the incentive scheme that they promised them would be around the corner or just starting next year is delayed for another year and another year. And they're just fed up of taking those calls. So there's quite a number of solar installers we've spoken to who uh, have taken the line, I'll look at it when it's real. And at the moment, despite the fact that we're telling them that it's laid in Parliament, that it's coming, uh, there will be no, um, you know, no better thing for the for the scheme than it actually being there. I think at the moment end users aren't too aware of it, uh, and installers aren't ready to talk about it because of a lack of date. They haven't really got confidence to go out to their customer to say it's coming. So we really need to educate the installer to educate their customers. End users trust their local tradespeople. It's obviously been a long time in coming. Um, but now that it's here, I think what I'm really hoping for is um, slow is the wrong word, but steady and good growth is what I'm hoping for for the industry. I've got one or two concerns about the RHI um, that because our technology is a little bit harder to fit than some other technologies, I'm a bit concerned that some of the other technologies might gallop away and use the budget up too much. So we'll be certainly pressurising DEC to make sure that. Um, our particular money is being fenced. And that's the key, is working together. It's not um, government, industry and, and the general public in opposition. We all want this and we all want the benefits, so let's do that. You know, people still ask me, is it really going to happen? Uh, and I think once it does, I think the enthusiasm that we've seen, that we were talking about earlier at the, um, at the DEC Roadshow there, really illustrates what an appetite there is for this, for this scheme and what an opportunity it represents to, 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 to in renewable energy stores. We anticipate that it could actually create a, a doubling of the renewable heat sector for the domestic marketplace in, in the first 12 months. And there's uh, quite a lot of budget available and um, success for us is actually spending that money. So uh, that's, uh, we're really looking forward to the thing getting, uh, getting off the ground. So can't wait to get going. Just want that date confirmed now so we can really talk to them about it properly. Ofgem are, are fully prepared with the all the IT systems, the application process and all that sort of thing. So uh, we are still on track for the, the spring launch as we've been saying. Spring 2014 does run to the 20th of June this year. So speaking to people who understand how things roll through Parliament, the fact that it was laid before Parliament uh, a few weeks ago, normally it's about 40 days before it can come into law. So we're looking at the soonest it might come into law could be uh, and be available could be April. The question I get asked the most is, you know, what, when is the launch date, when is the launch date? Um, we would love to give an actual launch date. Uh, we're really, our hands are tied actually by parliamentary process, so uh, it's out of DEX hands and it's really in the hands of Parliament. Uh, as I said before, you know, we're, we're really confident that the scheme is going to launch this spring. Uh, everything has been, really been done, everything is now in place, so uh, you just have to trust us that it will launch. And I think uh, look out for Greg Barker's Twitter feed, because. Uh, he'll be the first to know and I'm sure he'll be tweeting it very, very shortly after the scheme goes live. So uh, that's where to go for the latest information.